Today I'll learn how to automate your smart contracts. Traditionally, the common approach is for you to execute all the functions on your smart contracts using your preferred wallet like MetaMask and then be aware of those changes using a blog explorer like Etherscan. But today, we are going to learn how to let the smart contracts work for us. To execute the smart contract functions automatically without your intervention and also get notified when the changes on the smart contracts were made. So you can spend more time watching a movie, playing video games, or coding another project. And for that, we are going to use two powerful tools to conquer them all. Chaining Keepers and Morales. And by the way, if you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. Let's get started with the automation of the smart contracts. For that, please go to automation.chain.link and we are going to learn how to use their keepers. Also, open up the docs on a new tab because we are going to use them. First of all, we need to register a new upkeep. Chainlink Automations has two types of automated smart contracts. One, time-based. It means it's going to execute the smart contract functions based on a timestamp and then a custom logic automation, which is going to execute the functions based, based on the customizations you might add. Let's select for now time based. Then here we need to provide a contract address. For today's tutorial, we are using this really simple smart contract on which you just have a variable called number and a function which is going to add one to that number, also a getter to get that value. Don't worry about this because we are also going to look real live applications for Chainlink automations. This is just for you to understand how the automations work. I already have deployed this to the GoEarly network using Brownie and also have verified the contract. It's really important for you to have your smart contracts verified to use keepers on the best way. So let's return here. And this is the contract address for this specific contract I already deployed. So let's copy its address, go back here. Paste it. The contract ABI is going to be automatically fetched if the contract is verified. But if not, remember you can always provide the contract ABI manually. Let's click on next. And then we need to specify which function we want to automate. As I already told you, this smart contract has a really simple function called add, and this is the function we want to get automated. So let's go back to the explorer, click next. And here, as this is a tame based automation, we have to use cron expressions. If you don't know what a cron expression actually is, Chainlink provides you a really good simple example about how to create cron automations. But for simplicity's sake, let's just use this every 15 minutes, which is going to create this cron expression. As this is a tutorial, and I don't want to wait 15 minutes for this to get updated, let's change this just to one minute. So each minute, this automation is going to execute that function. Let's click on next. Here we have to give it a name. For me, it's going to be Keepers Demo for Morales. The admin address is the contract address, which is going to be the responsible to execute those functions. This is really important if you have a only owner functions on your smart contract, be sure that the address here of the admin is the one which has the correct permissions to execute those functions. The gas limit by default is this number. I'm going to leave it as it is. And then we need to fund this upkeep with some link tokens. This is the payment we have to provide to Chainlink in order to execute that external computation. As we are testing this on a testnet, just don't forget you can go to faustus.chain.link and get your 10 link tokens for free. I'm going to set up this number at three for now, and then we can add more information, which is optional, like your email address and the project name. I'm not going to add those right now, so let's click on register upkit. First, this is going to create the cron job contract for create that automation, let's confirm this. Then the cron job is going to confirm that that contract is deployed. 
and also is going to go through the process to fund the contract with the lien tokens we should have on our wallet. And after going through all the confirmations, well, our automation should be ready. So let's view that upkeep. And this is actually running right now on real time. So for example, if I'm going to the contract address on Ether scan, read contract and use that get number function, now we have it, the value at three. Let's wait a minute. After one minute, this number now is four. And this means this automation is working properly. As you can see here, if we reload this page, we are going to have all the information of those transactions going through. And of course, we are paying that link fee over here. But at the end, each minute, this is going to automatically run that function for us. Each time one minute has passed. After another minute, we have another execution and we can click again here and the number is going to be five. So cool, this is great. We already know this is working properly. So because I don't want to get out of funds, just let me pause the upkeep. This is going to trigger a transaction. Again, we should confirm this. After the transaction goes through, our automation is paused. As you can see, this was a really straightforward process and automating a smart contract function is really easy. I just want to mention that as you saw, there is two types of automations, one team-based and one with custom logic. To create a custom logic automation, you should make your smart contract compatible. And for that, you must import from Chainlink this automation compatible .sol. But basically, the only thing you have in difference here is that you have this check upkeep, which is going to return a boolean. This boolean is going to tell the automation system if it has to execute or not a function. And then when this comprobation goes by, you can execute this perform or keep function on which you are going to actually execute the logic you want. In this case, it's the same, add one to a variable called counter. If you want to learn deeply how this custom automation works, please go to the channel documentations I asked you to open before and read this tutorial because it's really straightforward and really comprehensive about how this works. But now this is great. We already have a way here to automate the execution of the functions of our smart contract. But let's suppose this timestamp is not one minute, but three hours, five hours, 10 hours. And you want to keep doing another things on the meantime, and you're not going to be checking it or scan over and over again in order to know if that function went through correctly. So in this part, Morales comes to play. We are going to use Morales streams to get live information of the events happening on that smart contract to get notified each time that function gets executed. So let's go to our admin panel and let's create a new stream. And remember, if you are going to manage a lot of petitions, please consider to upgrade to the pro plans of Morales. As you can see here, I already have some streams I created for testing purposes, but let's create one from scratch. Let's create a new stream. Let's put in here the address of the contract. We have it over here on either scan. Paste it, click enter. Let's wait until Morales recognizes that contract. Then we can set up a webhook URL. We are going to do that soon, but for now, let's keep this on the demo tab. Now we have to select the network. We know we are using GoEarly for this demo. And then we have to select which interactions we want to listen to. In this case, we just care about contract interactions. Then we have to provide the contract ABI. Again, we can go to either scan contract and copy the ABI from here. Let's paste the ABI over here. And Morales automatically is going to detect the events this contract has. In this case, number added. Because again, this contract has a function called number added, which is going to return that number. And this is exactly what we want. So we are not going to add an advanced filter here. And also we are not going to add a trigger. And by the way, if you want to know what Morales triggers are, please check out one of our latest video on that matter. So let's click on update stream. If everything goes well, we are going to have a success notification over here. So basically, each time we execute that add function, it's going to trigger a new event and Morales is now currently listening to that event. Let's check if that works properly. So using Brownie, I created a simple script to just execute that add num function for the GoEarly network. Let's click on enter. This is going to start a new transaction and let's go back to Morales. 
And as you can see here, we have a new event triggered with all the information of the transaction. And here inside the contract blocks, we are going to have the information we want. Of course, this is on a hash format, so we will have to decode this. But for now, we at least know this is working properly. So let's use this information to create notifications. For that, instead of using over here just the demo version of the stream, let's change this to production. In order for this to work, we need to provide a webhook URL. We are going to create a local server using JavaScript and then use ng-rock to create a tunnel between our local host to the internet. So basically using Express, we are going to create a simple server, which is going to run on the port 3000 on the endpoint webhook and is going to receive the request body into a variable called webhook. If everything goes well, we are going to return a 200 status. Also, we have to keep running this with this app.listen. Also for this project, we need to install some dependencies using npm, so let's do it. npm install at Morales Web3 Core, big number, the express for the server, Morales, node notifier, and node demon. This node notifier is the library we are going to use to actually create those notifications. And finally, we are going to also need TypeScript over here. Of course, I already have all those dependencies, so for me it's going to be a almost instant process, but just wait until you have them all. Let's return to the code. And for now, all the information of that webhook is going to be stored on this webhook variable, but we need to decode the logs in order to get the actual value of that number. So let's check that out. First of all, let's create an interface called number added, which is going to have a value called number and it's going to be a type of big number. This is not random names. Remember, we have to use the same ones as we have on our ABI. It means that if your contract had an event called number add, use the same name and also the variable should be the exact same. And you can always double check that if you check the contract ABI, as you can see here, the name is number add, the type is uint 256, which corresponds to a big number in JavaScript, and its name is number. So let's continue. Now we need to decode those logs. So const decoded logs, morales.streams. We are going to parse the logs which are stored on this interface and using the information from the webhook over here. That's why we needed to install morales and import it over here. Now we have those decoded logs and we know the variable name is number, so we can use that. So using the notifier library, we can create new notifications when that event is executed. So it's going to have a title, new update, and the message is going to be that number value parsed into a string. If everything goes work here, well, we are going to have a new notification each time we execute that function. Let's check if this is true. Now let's run that script to add that number again to see if this works. And now, as you can see here, we get that notification of that new value, which has been updated. Now let's combine this Morales stream. And instead of us executing this function, let's be our chain link keep to be the one who do it for us. So here on my keeper demo for Morales, I'm going to change his state to unpaused. We have to confirm that transaction, of course, after the transactions go by, our keep is now live. So that means it's going to start executing that function each minute. And if we go back here, oh, look at this. We are getting that notifications of the value which has been updated. One minute after that, we have a new notification and this is going to go over and over again as long as we have this automation active. And this is great because now we have a way to execute automatically our smart contract functions and get notified using Morales when that happens. And as easy as that, you know how to do it. But before we go, let's talk about some real life applications we can do with this automation workflow using Keepers and Morales. Because again, for this demo, we used a really, really simple smart contract, which just have this really simple function. But what things you can actually accomplish using this? Let's check three cool examples of 
automated smart contracts. First we have Pacoca, which is a DeFi dashboard using keepers on the BNB network to reliable auto-compound its sweet vials. Then we have the example of automatically triggered price drawings as BCB World does, which is a AI-generated NFT platform and gives the ability to users to earn rewards which are automatically sent using the Chainlink Keepers. And this last example is automated token vesting as the Kratos platform which is about to earn cryptocurrency and uses Keepers to automate the vesting of the process. So now you already know how to automate your smart contracts and get the information out of them using Morales, so now just the imagination is your limit. And that was it for today's tutorial, don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo, so check out the link on the description, and as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end, and see you on the next occasion.